What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on the video today, I've got my model Chelsea. We're gonna be cutting a one length long bob haircut, which is what she got previously, but you can see some layering that happened in that cut. So what I wanna do is share with you guys my technique to where I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna cut a one length bob, we're gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to take out weight without actually exposing layering within the cut. All right, so we're working on that one length, no elevation. That's what I want you guys to focus on. Uh, I don't put any of the hair on my fingers at this point. We're below occipital bone, so it's really at its lowest point. I wanna keep that, uh, that heaviness of the line, so I just continue all the way up the head shape no elevation until I get to about the crown area and that's when I'm gonna start putting it in my fingers and traveling around the head shape. So uh, just continuing to cut that balance line in the back all the way up the head. All right, so now you can see I'm working it in my fingers. So I got a one finger uh, elevation. That's just gonna soften it a little bit because as that head starts to curve away, everything's gonna get heavier and heavier. The lower you hold the hair, the heavier it is. So um, I wanna hold the hair in my hands to have a little bit more control. And I'm also gonna start working around the head. So watch my fingers, they work parallel to the parting, that's the key. And I'm just gonna work around the head shape, around that shoulder. So just watch as my fingers start to rotate, my body position starts to shift a little bit and I just follow that line. All right, so now we're moving on to the right hand side. We're gonna do everything the same. The only difference is I'm gonna be doing a backhanded cutting technique. So you'll see right here, as I start to cut, I'm cutting from the center out. I did the same thing on the left hand side. I cut from the center out. And that way I keep consistency with how I'm pushing the weight uh, with that scissor blade. So uh, just be aware that everything you do, you wanna mimic exactly the same on the opposite side. Otherwise you might end up with lengths that are different on both sides and you want a haircut that matches up. So here we go, I'm gonna cut through the top. Once I get to that crown area, I'll start to elevate and I'll start to travel around the head shape in my hands. All right, so now that we've got both sides cut, we're gonna go in with the Joyco Defy Damage Protective Shield. This guards against any thermal UV damage, uh, and I'm gonna use that to blow dry your hair, keep your hair nice and healthy. I'm using the Dyson blow dryer, and then I iron it out with the Dyson Corral iron, uh, just to get it nice and smooth, ready for that dry cut. So I'm going in with the tip of my scissor, and I'm gonna work that outer perimeter line. Uh, you can get a little bit, once you start elevating in your fingers, you get a little bit of an edge around your outer perimeter. So I just go in and I take that off using the tip of the scissor and now I'm using my texturizing scissor I create I take out the crown of the head and I use my texturizing scissor to go in where the hair is the bulkiest in that nape area in that occipital bone area that's where there's so much density packed in so I just slide on a diagonal with my texturizing scissor through and then when I put that crown back down it completely disappears you don't need all those short layers you get a nice one length appearance on the bob and you can see this is our end result I hope Hope you guys like it let me know in the comments below make sure if you're not subscribed subscribe to our channel on youtube thank you so much for watching